Maui wildfire disaster sparked one month ago today. The death toll stands at 115, and more than 2,200 structures were damaged or destroyed. Victims are still being identified. The fires in Olinda and Kula are still burning. We're going to have more on that. But first, water is still unsafe to drink for many on Maui. About 6,200 people are being housed at 29 locations around the island. Many West Maui students are busing to other schools until their campuses can reopen. The EPA is now working on the cleanup process in Lahaina. The cause of the fires is still under investigation, but lawsuits have already been filed against Hawaiian Electric. Today, Governor Josh Green will provide an update on the state's response to the disaster. He'll deliver his remarks from the ceremonial room in his office at the state capitol. Watch it live at noon on KHNL and K5 and, of course, across all of our Hawaii News Now digital platforms. Now, in that address today, Governor Green is expected to announce a reopening of most parts of West Maui for tourism. The Honolulu Civil Beat reports that he'll circle October 8th for that, hoping that travelers return to areas like Kaanapali and Kapalua. Lahaina, of course, will remain off limits. Governor Green is also working on a plan to direct federal funds towards payments to people directly impacted by the fires. He told the Council on Revenues yesterday those payments could be $1,200 for each eligible adult. We have some new pictures from Maui. Mayor Richard Bisson spoke with Lahaina residents on Wednesday evening near a distribution hub in Kaanapali. County officials say about 300 people attended that meeting to hear about reentry and rebuilding. Bisson said that he would provide daily reports with updates on the situation on Maui County's social media sites in order to answer questions sent in by the public. The first post was on August 20th. The most recent was on August 31st, eight days ago. And as we reflect on the month that has passed as the deadly Lahaina wildfire, there are still some big questions that remain unanswered. Yeah, Casey Lynn is live in Lahaina town this morning to remind us of some of those and questions we should mention that Casey has tried hard to get answers to. Casey. Yeah. And the rest of our team as well, Steve, our h and Investigates team has been asking a lot of these questions for four weeks. Uh, still to this date, a month from that fateful day, August 8th, as far as we know, no one at any level of government has taken responsibility or at least simply apologized for what's happened and the response from leaders in this community. And that has a lot of people frustrated. We're going to continue to ask those questions, namely, who was in charge of the emergency response when the fires first broke out on August August 8th. Herman Ndaya, the former administrator of the Maui County Emergency Management Agency, was on Oahu for a disaster preparedness conference. Mayor Richard Bisson says Ndaya was in touch with his team and that he himself was at the EOC with members of his team as well. But in a press conference weeks after the disaster, at one point he said he wasn't sure who was in charge. Another big question that hasn't been answered, when will people be allowed back to their properties? I was told this week by the mayor that the new administrator of MEMA, Daryl Oliveira, would have an update for Lahaina residents this week announcing the phased plan to bring people back in. That hasn't happened. The mayor said once the EPA has finished with hazardous waste removal, debris removal can begin. But I've talked to people who want more specifics on what's considered debris and what's being taken away. Another question so many people want an answer to, where are the children of Lahaina? School Superintendent Keith Hayashi says last week there were about 1,200 Lahaina students who were not yet re-enrolled at another campus for different reasons including many families have decided have not decided where to send their child to school of those 1200 not enrolled DOE officials have been able to make contact to more than 600 families when will the water be safe to drink that is a major concern and not just here in Lahaina town but upcountry places like Kula where people are still unable to drink or shower with their tap water we know that water users are still paying their bill and Maui's Department of Water Supply hasn't provided a clear timeline for when healthy water service may return HNN will be on the ground here for as long as it takes to get some of those important answers to those important questions. Also, Steve and Grace, we are going to be sharing something special with folks today. A couple of paddle outs uh, to commemorate the one month anniversary. We'll be back out on the water sharing some of those stories as people reflect on four weeks since August 8th. All right. Thanks for the update, Casey.